Yumna says, in this age of online wallets, we are offered cashbacks on transactions made. Is that money halal that we uh, obtain as cashback? First of all, this concept might be a little bit new for me, so I'll just give a general answer. And you may ask someone who knows specifically more in this than myself. Cashback is something that you get from your bank, from your credit card, or from a third party app application. So any cash back that I get from my bank account, this is riba. And we spoke about this before because the money I deposit in my bank account, this is not for safekeeping. Otherwise it would be prohibited for the bank to utilize this wealth and they should put it in a deposit box that is untouchable. But this is not the case. They usually take whatever deposits they have and they deal with them. They lend them to people with interest with riba. They do things, buy stocks or whatever and, and trade on the stock market, etc. So whatever they give back to me, this is actually called riba. In a credit card, it's different because I'm actually borrowing from them. So, and I'm not going into whether credit card is halal or haram because we've spoken about this before and you find so many links on my YouTube channel talking about this. But when I buy something worth a thousand euros, the credit card company gets a percentage from the seller who sold the item to me. So they, after accumulating a number of transactions, as an incentive for me to utilize this because they're benefiting from the seller, though I'm paying on time and there is no riba in it, they give me cash back. And this cash back is halal because I have not lent them anything. Rather, I borrowed from them. So as if they are giving me a discount of what I've borrowed from, then there's no problem in that. The third option is to have a third party, which is an application. So an e-wallet or uh, an online wallet usually is an application that they store my username, password, bank accounts, credit cards, etc., for safekeeping in a secure environment. So whenever I need to pay something, I use this app. And, uh, and the transaction happens uh, uh, flawlessly, hopefully, and nothing is wrong. Th the app is benefiting from the sellers, from the banks, from all parties. If I do not pay anything for this app, so there's no subscription fees, it's totally free and legit. And this app is independent from the banks that I have my bank account in. Rather, they benefit from the credit card or from the shops that I'm buying from. Then, inshallah, the cash back is considered to be halal as well. And Allah knows best.